number 70. So let's get right into it. Talking about kick ass number five. I'm gonna take these out of the bag. Oh, uh, just be careful. Just for the show. Well, we don't have to say anything because it's all there on the cover. Sure. Uh, the hottest comic book in the world ever. Now, wow, really? What did you think about really, this? Really, Mark? You're really good. You're going to put that in the front. Oh, you guys are on a first name basis? No, yeah. I wish. Is it because he yeah. sometimes has a beard? Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know what you guys are with the whole beard. Anyway, you are going to have a beard. Weird so about beard. Um, yeah. I don't know. Your weird, weird beard. Beard. Uh, beard. Uh, anyways, I'd like to talk about the comic. Um, Kind of meh. Hey, friends are cool. <laughs> friends, <laughs> I'm, friends I'm glad you wanted to talk about the comic book and you went kind of bad. Yeah. I just, I mean, but it's, it's like, sound effect. hey, you know what? When kids learn that friends are important in life, that's great. But I'm not sure if I need eight pages wasted in a book called Kick Ass. When they weren't kicking ass. They were teaming up. Uh, yeah, I don't, and particularly, I don't particularly have a problem with this book too much. Yeah. Uh, but... The thing about it for what me about is, the marijuana and driving? I, I think that's admirable. Yeah. <laughs> um, Live hard. Chiba, Chiba and driving. Who calls right? it Chiba? Anybody? <laughs> Nobody. Uh, this I is, call it Chiba. This is another. Uh, what's starting to come through here is I think it's uh, Mark Miller's uh, nihilist type thing going on, where he's like, nothing matters. Yeah. And because of that, none of this stuff matters. The main character of the book is the least essential character in the book. And it's, uh, and it's it's a little frustrating for me more than anything. It's all over the place. I feel like he's in the hospital and he's not. He's at the comic book store. Like I want She-Hulk. And in this, you, we end <laughs> you end up. He's well. A couple issues ago, there he, met, he meets the girl with the sword that kills everyone. Right. And then at the end of this issue, he just sees her again. And it's like, well, yeah. why not just to have it? We had this weird unnecessary well, it team went, up. It went from an unnecessary team up to a real team up. Now he's going to get with the murder. And I just I just want him to do something. That's yeah. the thing. Is I feel like the whole joke that's going on with the series is the main character is doing nothing. Yeah. Everything is just happening to him. And I, I want him... There doesn't seem to be a character arc going on. Yeah, and I don't even know when it's gonna when it can start because he's... Sure. The strongest character now is the girl with the swords only because she's like, I do this. And right. the rest of them are just like... Eh. Around, There's a lot of telling high. and not showing also yeah, yeah. is another thing that's going on. It's, oh my god, everything is so popular, everything is so big, all this this whole superhero thing is really blowing up. I hate that. that Mark Miller, I feel like, writes with such arrogance, especially in this book, and obviously on the cover, he's got the hottest comic book in the world. Ever. And I think that's the joke. He's building it up as this huge thing, and it's not huge. Yeah, but this thing, it's like the worst thing. Nah, I know. Uh, would you say pick it up? Uh, I don't like it. I'm not going to pick it up. Yeah, I'd say miss this one. Well, all right. Um, I would say pick it up. I don't know why. Uh, let's move on to talking about Batman at 684. Um, following up on something that happened, what, three issues ago? <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that? Well, uh, and luckily, there was no Batman in here, just Nightwing and Two-Face. And not even a talk about anything that's really been going on. Well, yeah, I think... I think they don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really well, important to have issues like this where you deal with random thoughts that may be happening in the Batman universe. Like, you know, would Gordon throw on the light if Batman's not there and be like, hey, anybody? Anybody in the Batman? No, I'm not serious. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, not at all. Uh, I feel, pay attention. Blow your sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it's like, uh, it's it was just a lot of bad ideas put together in one issue where it's like, I, I think it's possible that Denny O'Neill hates Nightwing. <laughs> because he spends well, the entire issue Nightwing his character at this point is he's completely capable yeah. he knows what he's doing what a he's, compliment well he is he knows but he he's like it. a sub Batman but he's happy Yeah. and this whole thing this whole issue is Nightwing saying oh man I'm no Batman I can't really solve this and then people being like well you got Nightwing yeah I know everyone <laughs> shits on Nightwing in this it's I don't know awful and yeah, even when he shows up he's like, like sorry guys not Batman, not Batman. I don't even like Nightwing It's kind of that uh, oh, artsy, yeah. timey. Yeah. Art's uh, interesting. I liked it. What did you think about the lady with the half bird face that's wandering around Gotham? Yeah, that's, not that's, that's the part that really bothered me because I actually like the idea of someone masquerading as Two Face, and it, that, that's a cool sure. twist yeah. on it. This woman who does, has no purpose besides she's like, Nightwing, there's trouble. Thank you. Uh, my face was burned horribly, <laughs> and, and then she just wanders around. She applauds a lot. Yeah, it's really weird. But she it kind of narrates the story. What it's was all over the place. What was weird was the fake Two Face. At first, I was like, 
are they just drawing them really poorly? And then I was like, oh, well, it's fake. Yeah, it's yeah. fake. Uh, so you were fooled. I was fooled. I was yeah. fooled. Um, would you say pick this up? None. It's completely unessential. Um, if you know what Nightwing is and know if Batman If you just is, then you really want to pick up a Batman comic for no particular reason, <laughs> pick this up. Nice. Yeah. Or buy a Batman t-shirt. Yeah, it's there you go. Uh, it has about as interesting a story as <laughs> yeah. this comic book. Uh, this one I want to talk about Wolverine number 70, continuing the old man Logan storyline. We finally found find out what happened to Wolverine, what? why he doesn't want to pop his what claws. What bummed him out so much? Uh, so what did you guys bad. think about this issue? I You didn't like this? No, I said it was so bad they wouldn't pop his claws uh, ever uh, again. I think this arc is stupid. I don't, it's such, everything goes by so fast. There's very little story. The art's very nice. I like Steve McNamara's art, but... Art like, is fantastic. It's all I mean, he's so like brooding and everything. He's like, you want to know why? And then he did tell the story. It's like, oh, you were tricked. All right, all we right. get it. All right, first <laughs> off, it's you really have to enjoy all the violence in this. No, I there don't. Is a ton I of, don't. I have is, a stable mind and a full heart, so I don't need to see blood coming out of everyone's face. Oh man, seeing Jubilee kill, I was like, oh, she's not even around in regular comics anymore. She's wasting away in the new Warriors. Spoiler, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I I disagree. I feel like they had to make a bolt. Like, what would happen? Well, Wolverine would not. I mean, really, it was the only, it's the only thing that could it could be. Well, it, I think this works as a story. Actually, I, I mean, don't. Works, thank you, Alex. However, I, I however, it's boring. However, I don't think it works as a comic book. Ooh. And the reason mm. I don't think it works as a comic book Thank is you, because Thank you. with this issue, the last issue, and I, if I remember correctly, the issue before, the story is too light at this point. There's yeah. too little going on in yeah. each issue to make it worth it as a comic book. I know you're going to kill me for saying this, but it's going to read better in the trade. You co- <laughs> Whoa! <Wow. laughs> it's going to read better in the trade because it won't be these tiny little bites. It'll read as a complete story. And there's really fun good stuff in here and good there is. book storytelling. Oh, I would have Mark Miller much better than Kick-Ass. Yeah. Writing much better stuff than Kick-Ass. I did like the twist in here. I did like the reasoning for it. But it's a short story that right. should go in the middle of other things, not as its own separate issue. But my big thing is like, the details are interesting where he's like, Spider-Man? They have Spider-Man's car. It's like a 10 year old ideas though. Like, And the, uh, what if there was a dinosaur but with venom on it? Oh, it's so awesome. But there's no real... The character moves in the story to make it uh, have any depth or any like real why, why can't I comic I can't, appeal to the ten year old in all of us? Why it doesn't? It sounds it feels like a ten year old wrote it, and I can I need something I can really pop my claws into and just <laughs> oh, oh man, that was ridiculous. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I you love I, it. I do love it. I just like the fact that it's creative. It's trying different things. Whether or not it's always working. You know, whatever, but I just feel like <laughs> the old man Logan thing is a cool thing, and they're sticking to it so far. I mean, yeah, it's interesting. Still is old. Not up <laughs> no, no, I mean, he hasn't popped yeah, his forget, claws. Forget that. I'd be really. Do you I think would, he's not going to pop his I claws? I would tip my hat to him if he didn't. The whole. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's he's great. totally going to pop his claws. He's, he's going to keep going for two, uh, my prediction. Two more issues, he's going to be like, I can't do it. I just can't. What's, how, how much longer is this arc? I have no Five idea. Five issues, six issues, something is like that. Is it a full 12? Yeah, I think so. Then you. And that's what Mark Miller told us the rest of the arc for Wolverine is. Wow. Oh, I, I hope you guys that, enjoyed that. I yeah. hope the camera didn't cut out in the middle of us describing that. There's no there. way. We have a tight production team. Sure do. We got a camera bed behind the camera and everything. But yeah, definitely. It's not just on a tripod. Hey, remember to, uh, when you're ever doing a YouTube show, charge your batteries, folks. <laughs> Alright, alright. <laughs> if you have a question for us, you can write us at the comic book club at yahoo.com. You can comment below, upload your video responses, uh, send us a letter. Or a nice <laughs> career. Uh, <laughs> uh, send or, us a new battery pack. <laughs> or if you're ever near City on Tuesday, 8 o'clock at the pit. We'd love to see you. We'll do a comic book show. <laughs> yeah. Bye.